Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in Meeple Station again. We are going to be checking out something just a little bit different. We're going to be checking out the tutorial missions. There's five in total, and I wanted to go through these so you guys could see uh, how to learn how to play the game. Now, obviously, if you've been watching the playthrough of the series, you have learned quite a bit from me, hopefully. But if you are interested in buying the game yourself, this will give you an idea of how the, the mechanics of it work. So let's hop on into the basics tutorial mission. All right, so we are in the first tutorial mission basics. And let's see what we got here. Well, well, come to learn the basics of running a station. Well, good thing you've come to me. There's no one better. Sure, whatever. First, let's show you how to navigate this mess we have here. Use the WASD or arrow keys to move the camera around. Go ahead and give it a try. Well, that's uh, pretty standard, so that's WASD. See, easy as meeple pie. Well, hold on, wait. If these guys are meeples and we're having meeple pie, does that mean they're also cannibals? Okay. Let's keep moving before we delve too deeply in that. You can also navigate through the layers using the Q and E keys or the arrow keys. Try it now to move up and down all the layers of the station. All right, so as you can see, we got a couple different layers of the station. Now that you know how to see what's going on, let's start taking a closer look at the inner workings of the station. Like what? Oxygen for starters, if you hover your mouse over the tile, it will highlight the entire room and show you the percentage of oxygen. Try it now, look at the rooms in the station, at all the rooms in the station. So as you can see, you highlight over, the room turns blue, 100% there, 100% there as well. Okay, now that you finally grasp the basics, let's begin constructing some furniture. How, again, my friend, only meeples who are assigned as engineers can construct objects. First, we'll need to do that. All right, so we go to the meeple button here, and I'm guessing we are going to either turn Raspberry or Mule into an engineer. Let's see, he's got eight engineering, so that's pretty good. And we'll go ahead and select that. Now that we have an engineer, we can begin construction. You can always assign more engineers if you need them. But first, let's make a suit rack so our meeples can travel outside. So we're going to head to the construction menu here, and it's got the suit rack highlighted for us. We'll select that, and we're going to drop that guy right, um, right there. There we go. So let's go ahead and turn the game on, and our engineer will come over here and get that going for us. Uh, what was his name here? Raspberry. So Raspberry's going to build that suit rack for us. And he looks like he's doing a fantastic job. Or she. The meeples really never get sexes in this game. Uh, now that we have a suit rack, our meeples will be able to go outside for work. That is handy. Yes, it is. Now let's construct some solar panels just in case we need more power later. That sounds good. Back to the build menu. Back to the power screen. And we will, oops, um, rotate it because I have OCD and I want that to all be running in the same direction. So he, Raspberry, got on his spacesuit. He's going to fly out here and start building those solar panels for us. So there's the first one. You're starting to get a hang of things. Why don't you try and do the next one without my help? We need a few more chairs in the dining hall. That sounds pretty easy. Place two chairs by the table in the dining hall. Make sure they're facing the right way. Pfft, easy. All right, so it needs three chairs, and I think he said two. So we go to furniture here, and we're going to select the basic chair, and we'll plop one there, plop one there, and plop one there, and Raspberry will get to work and build all those chairs for us. You can see up here, here's their little bedrooms, and they're only little two-by-two two squares with a footlocker, a bed, and a wardrobe, and it looks like Raspberry has got those chairs done. By golly, you actually did it. I guess you're not completely useless after all. Yeah, I don't need you. Don't get carried away now. There's still plenty more to learn. Like what? Like you, what you should do to survive a meteor shower. Oh, uh, a meteor shower. Ba ha 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 ha. That's the end of this tutorial. This is just the basics, dummy. If you don't want to die, then you should keep doing more. Oh, come on. All right, so that is the basic tutorial mission as our space station gets destroyed by these incoming meteors. And you can kind of see when they hit, it knocks out a panel um, and sucks all the air out of the room. And looks like one of our meeples is hiding in here. Oh, there he goes. Goodbye, bamboo. Goodbye, friend. Flying away and into the, the ether. 
what um what a poor way to go my friend um so let's just see how everything else is doing is that everyone did they all die it's not letting me click on the meeple screen but anyways that is the first tutorial thank you guys so much for coming out and watching it hopefully you learned a little bit i know we didn't do much in there but i wanted to record it in case anyone wants to watch this in the future don't forget to like the video comment on down below both on audio visual and qu quality of my commentary and both on Meeple Station itself, what you like about it, what you don't like about it. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. Thank you so much for stopping by, and we'll see you in the next Meeple Station episode.